Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoyed this Pilates with Weights workout, along with encouraging scriptures. You will only need a set of light weights. Let's go ahead and get started. Stand with your feet about shoulder distance apart. Part. Engage your powerhouse muscles, navel towards your spine. Let's go ahead and reach those arms way up over the head. Just reach them up there and then bring them down. Let's take a deep inhale as you reach up and then exhale as you bring them down. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will be glad and rejoice in it. Yes. Okay, so if you want, you can look up at those arms and then bring that head back to neutral. Let's keep moving through this. Breathe deep. That feels so good to stretch, doesn't it? Just bring those arms up, reach, engage your glutes and your legs and your powerhouse. Let's do that a few more times. Reach up there, bring those arms down. One more time. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Bring your feet a little closer together. What you're gonna do is bring one arm up, reach as high as you can, and lean over. Feel that stretch, and let's go ahead and let's alternate side to side. The word says to turn your back on sin and do something good. It says to embrace peace. Don't let it get away from you. Again, reaching those arms way up, Engaging your powerhouse, feel that stretch and reach through your waist, outer thighs and legs. And just a few more times. Exhale on that extension and lean and just keep it moving. Again, if you need to rest during the workout at any point in time, you do that and then come back to the exercise. One more each arm. Let's bring that arm way up. Feel that extension and last time and bring them down. You're gonna go ahead and step your legs out pretty wide and bring those toes out. So you're gonna bring the arms out as you lower down, bring those arms to the front and then go ahead, stand up and bring the arms back. You should feel this through the chest and through your shoulders and definitely through those legs. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, thanking the Lord every single day in all situations and in every circumstance. We always, always have something to be thankful for. And again, reach those arms up and back just a little bit. If you need to lower the arms, just bring them down, shoulders down and back. And again, let's do that one more time, feel that stretch, you can go as deep as you want, and then arms down. This next one, you're gonna position your feet to the front. Bring the arms out, and you're gonna reach down. This is called a saw, and you're gonna come on back up, and now you're gonna rotate. So you're gonna bring that one arm down. We're gonna stay on one side, and up, and rotate. The word says, rise up and pray. So we're gonna do that all the time when you first get up in the morning. Lord, thank you for the beauty of this day. Father, thank you for my good health. Thank you, Lord, that I can move around. Thank you, Father, that we can gather together and work out, right? And praise your holy name. On this one, balance is real important. So you're using the core muscles, you're stretching through those legs and definitely through your upper body. One more time on this side, then we're gonna switch those sides. So take your opposite arm, reach down, and then rotate. And just keep going through that, reach down. Nice, and rotate. So inhaling, and then exhaling. Again, we're gonna rise up, and we're gonna pray. This is the day the Lord has made, right? Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Regardless what goes on in this day, God is with you. He goes before you. 
He prepares the way for you in every circumstance and in every situation. And some days, I mean, some days we're like, Lord, please help. We need more help on certain days, don't we? But God is always right there for you. And he will hear your prayers and he will answer your prayers. Last one. Go ahead and grab your weights if you want to use them. Or you can go without weights through the whole workout. The arms are going to go out to a lateral position. And one leg is going to go out to the front. So we're going to do that at the same time, okay? So let's go ahead and lift and lower. With God, all things are possible, right? To those who believe. Go ahead and lift that leg and bring those arms out, feeling that through your shoulders and definitely through the leg, working on balance and stabilization. Keep it going. Again, with God, all things are possible to those who believe. Thank you, Lord, that you've made all things possible, Lord. Thank you, Father. Keep going. And if you think about it, God has blessed you tremendously in so many ways. Just start praising him. One more. Very nice. On this next set, we're going to bring our palms out and then bring those arms back in. So bring them out and back in. Opposite leg is going to go ahead and lift out there. Go ahead, reach it and bring it back in. And again, the verse is with God, all things are possible to those who believe. Use that powerhouse. Engage your core and breathe. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. Just keep moving through this. Feel that extension through your arms. Feel that reach and that stretch. And again, thinking about all the blessings God has given you and all the grace he's extended towards you and me in his mercy every single day. One more. Bring those legs out wide and then toes are gonna go out. On this next one, bring your arms to the front. You're gonna go down in a plie, bring your arms out and then back down. Go ahead, extend them out and then lower down. Let all that you do be done in love. And Lord, help us with that. Help us to love as you love, right? Sometimes it's hard to love, isn't it? I'm sure it's hard to love me at times, if you ask my husband that. But just do everything in love. Filter everything through God, right? And ask him to help you. Again, feel that extension, arms, upper body, and legs, engaging your powerhouse. Be real mindful, right, about your knees and your shoulders and the neck. So how are you doing there? One more. Bring those arms in front. Now your palms are gonna face in. You're gonna lower back down. This time when you come up, bring those elbows up and back. Let's do it again. You go at your level and your pace. We're going slow through these on purpose to feel this stretch, to engage all of our muscles. Blessed is she who's believed that the Lord would fulfill his promise to her. Do you believe? Do you trust God? Are your desires lined up with his desires for you? And if you don't know that, just say, Lord, show me, Father. Please line me up. My desires, let them match up with your desires for my life. Shoulders and chest and mid-back and legs, the way we're breathing, it all comes together. One more of these, and let's bring the legs in, probably about shoulder distance apart. You're gonna go down into a modified squat or deeper squat if you want. So lower down, and then bicep up. So a hammer curl or a basic bicep curl. So go ahead and squat and then exhale up. Faith, your faith in God can move mountains. Yes, they can. 
Faith in Christ can move mountains. So what mountain are you facing today? What's in front of you? What's your Goliath? I'm telling you, God can help you with that. Just speak to that mountain and say, be removed out of my way in the name of Jesus. Legs and bicep muscles here. Let's do that one more time. Very nice. This next exercise is a kickback. It's for your triceps, upper arms, back of your arms. You're gonna bring your legs in close and you're gonna kick back and then kick out. So one leg, there's that balance factor right there. Commit to the Lord whatever you do. Whatever you're doing, commit to the Lord. And his word says, the plans that he has for you will succeed. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you this day. We give you this workout. We give you ourselves, our lives. Father, help us in every aspect of our life to give it to you. Take us over, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. So you can work out and pray, and you can pray and do whatever you're doing today. One more of these. All right, so opposite leg. Now, if you need to modify that leg, just tap it out. That's fine too. But you can also lift it. We're going into another set of those tricep kickbacks. So we're committing to the Lord. Let's commit to him this exercise right here to strengthen our bodies. Lord, we commit this workout to you. And Lord, let it be successful. Let it help us, Father, in so many ways. Father, let your words fill our hearts and our minds. And Father, thank you for your peace. In the name of Jesus, shoulders down. And you want to feel that shoulders down. You want to feel those tricep muscles. You want to notice that balance. Again, you can slide that leg out instead of lift it up. That's perfectly fine. Let's do that two more times. This next exercise, widen your stance just a little bit. This, you're just going to kick across the body, okay? And kick back. I know we're doing a lot of kickbacks, but Triceps are important, right? So balance, kick the leg across. The word says, behold, you're beautiful. Did you know that? You're beautiful in the eyes of the Lord. So take that in. It's not being conceited, but you need to know that you are beautiful in the eyes of your Father. And so, you can take that with you. You don't have to feel insecure about the way you look. You can say, Lord, thank you for this hair on my head. Thank you, Father, for this body. And Father, help me to take care of this body to serve you best. One more. Opposite leg is going to go out just a little, and you're going to kick it across as you kick back. Again, you're working on posture and your alignment. You're working on your tricep muscles, your legs. You're working on core strength and awareness. And remember, remember this, you are beautiful to the Lord. You are, that's out of the Song of Solomon. Keep going, you can do this. And let's say your balance is off just a little bit, just tap out and cross over instead of lifting that leg up, okay? Keep it moving, tricep muscles, arms and legs and the core. Feels pretty good. Two more of these. Last one. Very nice. You're gonna brush one leg back and your opposite arm is going out to the front. So just brush it back. And there's that balance again. Just nice little brush back engaging your glutes, that's your bottom, your legs and that arm and your core. The word says that God is within you and that you will not fall. So when God is within you, you're focused on him. You wanna please him. So you're not gonna fall. 
you're not going to. That doesn't mean we're not gonna mess up because we do from time to time, right? And that's when we go to the Lord and say, Lord, please forgive me for that mess up. And you just keep moving forward, right? You don't wallow around in that mess up. You just keep moving. You just say, Lord, please forgive me. Help me to do better. Let's do that one more time. Very nice job. Okay, opposite leg. Now, if you don't want to lift the leg physically up, you can just tap it back, okay? Opposite arm goes out there. You can do a nice little brush kick or move that leg back. Remember, when God is within you, and He is, you will not fall, all right? He's got everything prepared for you. So don't worry about that. Keep it going. It's so lift and lower and lift and lower. Finding that balance is so important and um, finding that core strength to stabilize you so you can move like this. So use that core and breathe. Focus in on what you're doing as well. A few more of these. One more. Very nice. We're going back to that first leg. Again, you can just place it back or you can brush it back. This next one, we're gonna press up over the head, okay? So brush back and press. And let's say this together. I can do all things, you know this one, right? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes, we can. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Thank you, Father, for your strength. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Father, that you chose us to be here during this period of time. You have a perfect plan for us, Lord, and help us every single day as you direct our steps through your plan. Feel that, again, that press through your shoulders. Feel that leg moving, that extension. Notice that low back, just be mindful to be real careful with that low back. One more. All right, go ahead and press that arm overhead and take that opposite leg, brush it back, or go ahead and tap it back. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes, Lord, we can with your strength, not in our own, but in your strength, Lord, we can do all things. I know when I do, do things in my own strength, it doesn't always work out well. Most of the time it doesn't at all. But in the strength of the Lord, yes, it does. All right, keep going. Reach up there, brush it back, engaging your glutes, and your leg, and your core. One more of these. Very nice. We're gonna go side to side lunge. What I'm gonna do is bring the legs out wide. So I'm just gonna either hinge back, which is more of a progression, or just kind of lean side to side, whichever you want. Going into your bicep curls, side to side. Very nice. I will walk by faith even when I cannot see. Lord, help me when I can't see. Help me just to trust you, to follow you, to read your word, to know what your word says, to live your word out. You can slow it down if you need to slow it down. I was going a little fast through that. Just back and forth, exhaling and inhaling. Good, shoulders down. One more of these. And then palms come towards you. We're going into a plie and then an upright row. So lower down and then lift up. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. So this is the will of God for each one of us. Be joyful. That doesn't mean you have to be happy, happy, happy. Joyful is knowing that God is with you, that He watches over you, that He's planned out every 
step of your day. And that's the joy in knowing the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And again, bring those elbows up and back. Exhale as you do that. Inhale as you lower down. You're doing fantastic. So how's your body feeling? One more. And let's bring the feet back in. All right, this next one, we're gonna do a front raise and then a lateral raise. We're gonna separate those, okay? So go ahead, lift out there, then bring those arms out. Again, bring that leg out there and arms out to the side. Let your light shine before others. Amen? Lord, let us shine bright for you. Again, we're separating the leg and the arm movement, really focused on that strength through the core, the upper body, and that lower body, engaging all that God has given us. And we're asking the Lord to strengthen us as we go through this exercise. Our shoulders, our chest, upper body, the core, the lower body. Good, keep it moving. And again, we've got about three more of these. Nice control, nice breath there. One more of these, very nice. All right, well, let's do this on the opposite leg, exact same thing. But this time, bring your palms out and then bring them back in. So on this set, we're gonna start with the arms and then go right towards that leg. Again, bring those arms out and then extend that leg. Let your light shine, that's the word, before others. Lord, shine through us. Lord, help us. Lord, let us be a reflection of you and uh, less of us, Father, and more of you. In the name of Jesus, bring those arms out. Feel that extension through those arms and that leg. You can modify, you can bring the leg up higher, you can bring it lower. Just work out where you're at today and ask the Lord to help you. And we have a few more of these, about three more. Again, reach those arms, extend that leg. Two more, and we have one more. Very nice. Bring those legs out wide. We're going back into that plie, belly is in. Go ahead and lower down, plie, bring those arms up and out. Nice and steady. Think your way through this one. So we're talking major arms here and shoulders, legs and core. Inhale as you lower and then exhale as you bring those arms out there. The word says that let all that you do be done in love. Lord, help us to do that very thing in our actions, in our words, in our attitudes, in my facial expressions, Lord, help me. You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes your face can look kind of bitter and Lord, help us with that. Help me with that, Father. I know some of us can be real Serious, I'm real serious at times, and when I'm focused, sometimes I don't think about, you know, my facial expressions. I can come across angry or mad, and I'm not, I'm just focused, but you know what? Be mindful of that. Be mindful of the way you present yourselves to others. Let's do that a few more times. One more. Very nice. Bring your arms back down. Shoulders, let's roll them back just a few times. Check your powerhouse navel towards your spine. Lower down and then come right back up. Inhale lower and exhale up. You are blessed when you believe that the Lord will fulfill his promises for you. Did you know that? So as you say, Lord, I know you will fulfill the promises you have for me. He will. You start thinking in that direction. You start moving in that direction. And he will answer, he will. The desires, the deepest desires of your heart. Lower down, inhale, exhale, come up. 
Feel this across the chest and your shoulders. And let's do that one more time. Very nice. Move your legs in a little closer and you're gonna bring your weights back or your arms back just a little bit. I want you to stand up tall. Think about your posture and your alignment and just lean side to side. Just lean side to side. Inhaling and exhaling. Feeling this through your rib cage. Pull the ribs in. Pull that core in tight. Stand up tall. The word says, turn your back on sin and do something good. Do something good for the Lord. Embrace peace. Don't let it get away from you. Lord, help us to embrace your peace. Father, help us not to show anger, not to show bitterness, but to go to you, Father, with all of that. Father, thank you that you cleanse us of our sins. And again, just side to side, just lowering and lifting. One more, each direction. And let's go ahead and place those weights down. We're gonna go ahead and end this workout the way we began. Bring your feet close to one another. Engage your powerhouse. Let's reach those arms up, reach them up and exhale down. Where God guides, He provides. And He's always guiding and directing our steps. Let's do it again. If you wanna look up, you go ahead and look up. Feel that extension. You feel a little better at the end of this workout. And let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach up, and then exhale down. Shoulders, roll them back. Remember, this is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. I wanna thank you so much for allowing me in your home today. And I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best that you can be. As we continue working out in His Word, God will bless our bodies and our hearts for His purposes. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you, keep you safe, healthy, strong in your body, mind, and spirit. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith. Thank you so much for working out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the workout and that it inspires you to stay motivated to shape your body and heart for God's purposes. God continues to amaze me. As we complete another season of Shape by Faith, God will answer the desires of your heart as you look to Him for your strength. My hope and desire is that you are inspired to take care of your body so that you can complete the purpose God has planned for you. He has great plans for you and Shape by Faith is so honored to be a part of that process. With God, all things are possible to those who believe. Enjoy the journey.